Hello everyone, this is an animation process video based on the streams I do on Sunday. Or rather it would be, but I rarely get to stream. However, these videos are meant as a backup whenever I am unable to stream this animation process. Again, this is a specific animation I'm working on. Every Sunday, sometimes I make it, sometimes I don't, but these videos are gonna be up frequently on YouTube every week for anyone who misses the streams. Now I wanted to talk about more of the process on how I work on my animations because on the last video I, I was just not really getting into that, instead it was more of an update about what was going on with my channel. Now what I'm doing in this specific animation is just organizing things left and right. I'm taking the thumbnails that I made, chopping them all up, and separating them into keyframes. Now why am I doing this and not animating straight away? This is because it's one, a one, it's a long animation and even if it wasn't it's good to plan. And two, since it's divided from scene to scene I need to know what I'm doing and in order to do that I need to figure out where every scene goes, what the timing is from thumbnail to thumbnail. Essentially setting up my animatic first before touching anything else. That way, when my animatic is all set, I can take one of the thumbnails and divide it up into separate keyframes. Now, when it comes to that, I might have to make even more thumbnails, whether in the computer or away from the computer. As you can see, I usually work on paper because it's easier for me. Now, there is no right and wrong way to make thumbnails or a storyboard. The thing is, my preference is just working on paper because working on the computer is way too distracting. And I get tired much faster. I would rather leave computer work when I'm finishing up my artwork or setting up. However, when it comes to drawing on paper, I can come up with concepts much, much quicker. Now, this depends from person to person. There are going to be other people who just find it even more convenient to work on the computer, and that's perfectly fine. The point is, make thumbnails first, and whether they're on paper or pencil is really based on how you can work faster and more efficiently, and come up with better ideas without many distractions. Now, one more thing I wanted to mention is that I didn't do a storyboard, and I should have done a storyboard. Thumbnail sketches are great, but a storyboard is even better. This is because the purpose of the storyboard is to help set up the camera and not just the scene. And because I didn't do that, I'm writing down notes in the animatic itself while I'm setting everything up. Now this is fine as well, but a storyboard would have saved a lot more time. Now there are certain scenes from the thumbnails that have to be fixed. And there are other scenes that I might not need at all and might have to discard them all altogether. Setting up a storyboard helps prevent this. But aside from that, I really love setting up my animations on thumbnails on paper. I didn't do it before, but then I found out it saves so much time to just set up these thumbnails. I am not sure if it's still done. I mean, it's again, it's a preference thing. But I just find that it's convenient to be able to set up sketches of an animation pretty much anywhere and then just compile them on the computer. Like I said before, this is going to depend from person to person, but if you want to start animating, I encourage you to experiment with like how you want to set up your sketches. Sometimes working on the computer first may not be the best idea. But if it's more of an economical approach that you want, that you really are looking for, you want to save paper for, for other things, it's much faster. Maybe you have a PC tablet or, or a mobile Android tablet or, or, or an iPad, then you could just pull that up and do sketches right away. So that's going to be it for this video. I apologize for being very repetitive in this case. But there isn't much going on in the video itself, it's just setups and not much else. I also do write notes about how I'm, how I'm going to set up the background because I do paint the backgrounds as well. 
That being said, I will go further into the animation process as I go along animating in the project and and showing off the process on future videos. So thank you for watching and take care. I'll be back next week.